Player training. First of all, you got four type of player cards in the game, right? You got standard, you got legendary. Standard, legendary, featured, and nominating contract. As you can see, special one, uh, most players that you get here, they're level one. So if you're wondering why a, a Cristiano or Messi, they're low rated, because they are level one, you have to train them. The only players who are maxed out is these ones, player of the week, which are trending players. And you can buy them with GP or coins. You get them with no money in contract. And no money in contract is basically something you get with a login bonus, maybe in the future with something else. As you can see at the top of um, my head right there, I've got two three-star no money in contract. I can get a bunch of players from there, but I want to keep it for a better agent because you can keep them for 60 days. Uh, that's out of the way to understand the basics of how uh, players work. Obviously, this year is a new addition that you can actually sign anybody that you want with GP. We didn't have that before. And most of these players, when you get, they're actually level one. You have to train them. It's very important to not max out your player before you make them adapt to at least two different tactics. Yo, Kutaz, appreciate the primer, man. Thank you. So it's very simple. You come here, my team, players, of course. I like this new addition when you flip the cards. You do this and you select a player. I think we had this view before as well. Now, when you flip them, it tells you the player levels where they are. And first of all, there are experience points where you can gain them by playing cups, competitions, uh, sometimes uh, bonuses, or when you release a player. You can't sell a player. If you release a player, you will get experience point and GP. The higher rated the player, the more experience points and GP you get, basically. And um, if I select on a guy here, for instance, um, each player you have, you train them first and then you got progression level. Once you train the player, then you go to your progression level. This is where you divide the points between leveling up the player's individual ability. And I kind of like the system because Zaniolo is my favorite player. I can have two Zaniolos. One of them train him to be a pace whore. And the other one focus on his technical ability, make him a good passer, a good dribbler, a more defensive awareness. Let's say you got Pep Guardiola. He likes pace. Give him more pace. You can't have a player perfect. Every player will have a weakness. And in my opinion, do not max out your player. Pick your favorite two tactics or whatever it works in the game. Let's say I like to play co-counter. I have a fast team, uh, fast team high stamina. If I manage the game at the end, I want to play position or I want to play long ball. Make sure that your player has at least 90, 90 plus with minimum two tactics before you max him out. If a player is maxed out and he's not adapting to all these playing style, then you kind of have to get him again in a way. The thing is, if you have one to two, let's say in your team, you're starting 11, you have two players that are not adapting to your tactic. It's fine. As long as eight to nine or 10 players are adapting to different tactics, one or two or your main, then you should be okay. So... The player that I want to level up right now is my goalkeeper right here. Uh, you simply go to the training. I have EXP. I'll go these EXP by really some players, really. Uh, that's that's where I go. Go to level thing. You proceed. Pretty simple. I think you just follow the instructions. But I get it. Uh, some people have a problem with that. Yeah, no, you press back. Yeah, user interface like worse than mobile. Progression points. Now I have to decide between... Do I want to level him up or do I want to make him tactically fit? Now, the point is I have to make him adapt to my main tactic, which is quick counter. He's already got 93. That is good enough. But I want to play the second tactic as well. So that could be position or long ball if I manage the game. So I'm either going to give him all of it. It's going to be 99. But then I want to focus on his ability right now because he's a young player. Is going to take a lot of points. So I'm focusing on the ability. He can play my main tactic anyway. And also remember, the higher rating manager, the higher price manager that you buy, the less point it takes to make players adapt to the manager's tactic. Let's say Allegri's go, Allegri's go 80 in counterattack. He's a counterattack manager. But Klopp is go 87. Klopp is worth half a million dollars. Uh, now, if you get Klopp, you will less, it would take less points here 
for you to make him adapt a counterattack. Does that make sense? So it's always good. Like, don't get managers for 10K because you'll end up uh, spending so much of your XP points to try to adapt to your tactic. But they're both equally important in a way, if you know what I mean. As long as you do not max out your players before you make them adapt to at least two of your main tactics. So at this at this point right now, I'm not focusing on the tactic. He can play counter is good enough. But eventually, yeah, I want to make sure he plays long ball and position. These are the alternative tactics I might like to play. And you simply just use the points. That is pretty much it. Now, as I said, there's another thing here. If you press triangle, every time you play a game, you will get progression points. You click on a player. Again, Pep Guardiola's got two. Maybe wait till you get a bit more, maybe 10, so you will see the difference. Now, if I want to make Pep Guardiola something different, I want to give him a little bit of acceleration. Can I? No, I can't right now because I've got four points there. I need more points if I want to add that one. And in that case, I'm going to leave it and not waste it. So always remember to check when you come to this view to press triangle. You, you earn these progression points when you actually play matches. Most likely ranked matches. Now again, the game is new right now. A lot of things will change. I will update you guys on YouTube. Those of you watching there and you guys in the chat. If there's anything I missed out, um, let me know in a comment on YouTube. And you guys, if there's any tips and tricks that I missed out, let me know. Because there's a big relation between your players, your manager, your tactic. Your managers... It's important to level up your player to make them play different tactics. Formation doesn't matter. You can use any formation, really. But when you change your tactic from another one, you have to make sure your players adapt into different tactics because if you change them, boom, your chemistry drops. If you play offline matches, you don't get points. I don't think you do, no. I think it's only ranked match.